Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Qingxu. Let's look at the problem 32 at chapter 6. In this one, we consider the wheel. Uh, it's a vertical wheel, right? And then we need to consider the person's uh, weight at the top or at the bottom. So the weight in this case is just the normal force act on this person. See what, what the quantities they give us. First one, they tell us the diameters. So very easily we can get the radius there, and also it tell us the period, right? So once you know the radius and the period, the next quantity, you must be very interested, must be the velocity. Because this is a circular motion. For one complete circle, the distance it covered is 2 pi r, agree? And the time taking for one complete circle is the t. So in this one, we can get the, the speed, 2 pi r divided by t, this one. So we put it there. And the next one asks you for the ratio for the weight to, for the apparent, apparent weight to the real weight. So there, what is apparent weight? What is the real weight? Apparent weight is what is the number shown on the scale. That is a normal force. The real weight is the mass times the g. Agree? So it looks like we need to find the normal force at these two situations. First one, this person at the top. So when the person at the top, we can see this is circular motion. The net force must make the object do the circular motion. It's the central force, right? So the central force in this case is mg minus the normal force pointing to the center of the circle equals the mass times acceleration, this acceleration becomes central acceleration, v squared divided by r. In this case, you can find the normal force at the top, and then we need to find the ratio. So use the normal force at the top divided by the mg. Finally, you find this term, see, look at this term, we find the velocity is given. g is a constant, r is given. Very easily, you can find it. The next one, sq, find the ratio at the bottom. So still at the bottom, we can see the gravity always pointing down, and then the normal force pointing up in this case. Do you agree? Yes, because there is there is some, this is at the bottom of the circle, so there must be force make it to do the circular motion. So in this one, we can see the normal force minus the gravity, this one equals mass times the central acceleration. And in this one, we can find the normal force at the bottom is mg plus mass times v squared divided by r. In this one, we find the ratio in this term, and still the v, g, r are given at the problems. After we input the numbers, we can get the final answer. The first one is 0 0.7. The second one is 1.3. Thank you.